Eric Brasher, originally from Washington, D.C., and been in Nashville for quite a while. But uh, here we are in Ohio, and you wrote a song uh, about one of our heroes, Neil Armstrong. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, he was one of my heroes, too. I was a nine-year-old boy in July of uh, 1969. I had all the Ravel models, the, uh, the Saturn V rocket, the lunar landing module, the command module, and uh, knew all the names of the Apollo astronauts. And I just kept that, uh, that fascination alive. And as, as I got older and started thinking a little bit more about uh, what those astronauts were like as human beings and not just sort of idols to a kid, uh, Neil Armstrong just became more and more interesting. So uh, I wrote this song a few years back thinking about him and how little he talked about it after he got back. So that's what this is. It's called Tranquility Base. Well, we're proud of Neil Armstrong and also the late John Glenn. Absolutely. Uh, who Columbus just named their airport after. That's right. So for some, what do you think accounts for Ohioans going into outer space? Well, we were wondering about that yesterday. We were thinking about how many uh, Civil War generals came from Ohio. So you've you've got kind of a uh, you've got kind of a, a a good grasp on those things on astronauts and on generals. So. Well, we're we're risk takers. That must be it. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, we'd love to hear tran tranquility base. What you were thinking With all of us watching you on the TV Taking small steps and giant leaps And planting the flag In a place no one had been 238,000 and more miles away Through the infinite night the landing was tough, but you brought her down. Tell me, what did you see? Was it glorious, beautiful, frightening, or sad? You had the view that no one else had. Did you turn away from the place you call home and stay? the stars when you stepped up the ladder did you think of Ohio your children your parents your wife your panther jet brought down in Korea did you ask who am I to live such a life one so glorious beautiful frightening and blue no one but you ever had such a view and why did you call it tranquility base did everything fall into place Whoa. And on the way back, did you have much to say to Michael and Buzz there beside you? They'd done their job just like you had done yours. You were never much for small talk. And when you hit the atmosphere, flames, they were everywhere. Did you wonder if you'd make it through? And when you hit the water out in the Pacific, you were just a speck in the blue. But still glorious, beautiful, silent and sad. You had the view that no one else 
else had When you headed back to the place you call home Did everything look out of place? Did you miss Tranquility Base? Did you leave something up there? Do you want to go back? Do you miss Tranquility Base? Do you miss Tranquility Base? Eric Brace, thank you. Boy, we're all looking for our own tranquility base. <laughs>